CarShield is going to be there to back you up. My experience with CarShield is that they absolutely come through every time I need them. If my car breaks down, I can count on CarShield to cover it for me. CarShield definitely has my back. Now it's the time to make the smart choice and protect yourself from sky-high auto repair bills. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. It's only a matter of time until repairs are needed. And once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 1-800-766-1017. That's 1-800-766-1017. I own my first home. I'm free to do whatever I want. Paint the walls purple or finally install a dishwasher. But I also don't want to spend every weekend doing home projects, so I use HomeAdvisor to get matched with pros who can do the exact job I need. I can use the cost guide to make sure I get a fair price, book an appointment online, and it's totally free to use. I get my projects done, and I still enjoy my weekends. Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app. HomeAdvisor. This is an important announcement. Funeral costs are rising every year, costing thousands upon thousands of dollars. And more and more families are shocked and unexpectedly burdened with funeral costs when a loved one dies. You don't have to let that happen. If you're a United States resident between the ages of 40 and 85, now is the time to call about the Funeral Advantage Program. Through the Funeral Advantage Program, your family receives a life insurance cash benefit up to $20,000 in the event of your death. If you live in a qualifying state and you're between age 40 and 85, call now because you are eligible for a free Funeral Advantage program offer. Don't put it off. Call the number on your screen now to request your Final Wishes Organizer, free without obligation. The Final Wishes Organizer will help make many difficult decisions easier and uncomplicated. It could also save your family thousands of dollars. Don't delay. When you call, we'll add this second important booklet absolutely free. The nine things every senior needs to know about funerals puts the facts on funeral planning in plain language. You may be surprised by what it reveals. You'll discover why funeral costs are rising so sharply, why so many families overpay for funerals, and what you can do to protect your loved ones from overspending. Also, you have rights when it comes to funerals. Do you know what they are? If not, call now. Call 1-800-944-1157 now to discover how easy and affordable it is to protect your family when they'll need it most. Call 1-800-944-1157 now. Funeral Advantage pays up to $20,000 cash to your family for funeral and other expenses. Call 1-800-944-1157. There's no risk or obligation. Don't put it off. Call 1-800-944-1157 now. Oh, man, this isn't too bad. Hell is a restaurant, too. I don't care if it's a steam bath. I don't want to be here. Anyway, why are we here? I thought we led a decent life. We did. Uh-oh. Unless it's that thing I did to old man Wilkerson when I was 11 years old. What's that? Shut up, you two. Shut up yourself. You copping a bad attitude. That's all we got down here, sweetheart. <laughs> Our motto is do unto others and then do it to them again. Well, my motto is, I don't like your motto. Oh, you'll fit in real well down here. You must be Buster and Mildred Jenkins. <laughs> Buster and Mary Jenkins. Who cares? Follow me. <laughs> your seat, madame. <laughs> don't tip this fool. You can't hear our selection of wines? Yes. It's too hot down here. Anybody else wants to win it? Have a nice day. This must be where the Star Search losers go. If you need anything, my name is Bernie with a U. Get it? I feel a draft. <laughs> Throw another soul on the Barbie! Take it like a man, Mom! <laughs> Look, there's been some mistake. Mary and I shouldn't be here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tell her, Lester. Oh, all right, I'm to blame. Mary was a silly prank. I gave old man Wilkerson a hot foot. Shame on you, Lester. You didn't tell her the truth. Mary, we're here because I punched out Phil Dawson on the church steps. That's why you're here. 
What I want to know is why I'm here. Well, I'm sorry, but the wedding ceremony said for better or for worse. It also said till death do us part. And at death, I intended to part. Hey, you guys are better than the entertainment we have down here. Oh, yeah? What is it? The Morbid Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> well, at least Calvin and Brenda are okay. <laughs> or maybe they're not. Are they? Uh, you can check it out, but most people are very disappointed by what they see. Hey, what happened to this place? It looks awful. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Brenda and Calvin were so upset by our deaths, they took it out on the apartment. <laughs> Well, there's our Brenda. You know, man, I never liked her in that dress. It always made her look fat. She's not fat. She's pregnant. <laughs> How'd that happen? My guess is a little wine, a candlelight dinner, and a Luther Vandross album. Hi, honey. What a dump. Don't you ever clean this place? I just did. <laughs> How was work, honey? Did you sell anything? Nope. People just not buying used bricks like they used to. Our successful son-in-law sells used bricks? I always said he was a brickhead. Guess what, honey? Uh -oh. The baby kicked me today. So kick it back. <laughs> this is a wild guess. But I don't think they're happy. Well, wait, man. We were poor when we started out, but it's kind of romantic, just the two of them. Where's my dinner? <laughs> you mean the three of them? Calvin, oh, honey. Why do you look so blue? I had a bad day, Grandma. You ain't had nothing but bad days ever since you married her. <laughs> oh, Shay. How dare you talk about my baby like that, you meal moocher? Hey, they can't hear you. You're bone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma Shay. I would have had your dinner ready, but I thought Calvin was going to bring home some money so we can buy some food. There you go. Blaming my poor Calvin. <laughs> if you was a real wife, you could cook dinner without food. <laughs> Poor Brenda. Looks like we died and she went to hell, too. Uh oh Mr. and Mrs. Dobbs, my favorite married family. Say the secret word and Duck will come down and clean this place. If only we had some money. I could afford some lemon pledge and some change for the washing machine. Oh, honey, I can't take it. And they so poor they can't fluff up old. Calvin, my main married man. Take a look at this. Lakers and the Bullet playoff tickets. How'd you get these? We astronauts get a few perks every now and then. Hearing check. Hearing check. <laughs> Dylan McMillan is an astronaut? He always was a space cadet. He might as well get paid for it. <laughs> what do you say? You want to go? It's a great seat. You know who we're sitting next to? President Zsa, Zsa Gabor and Vice President Cher. <laughs> We died right on time. <laughs> All right, let's bust the move. <laughs> Calvin! <laughs> we gotta do something. Ah, uh, Brenda Jenkins Dobbs, don't you know what day it is? No, but I suddenly have morning sickness in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> the Jenkins sardonic wit, like mother, like daughter, huh? Well, today is the day I collect the rent. You'll get it, Julian. Gee, I love what you haven't done to this place. Hmm. <laughs> but if I don't get my money tonight, you out in the streets, babe. Come on, Julian. Hmm? Now give the poor girl a break. Rose, Rose, Rose. I love you like a sister. You know, she's been married to Calvin for the past five years, not to mention having to put up with that mother of hers 18 years before that. <laughs> Did I say sister? I meant blister. Rose, what a nasty thing to say. <laughs> I guess that's why I married you. <laughs> Rose and Julian are married? Yeah. She probably kept an open mind and her brain fell out. <laughs> Julian, I don't have the money right now, but I'm working on it. But what happened to all that money I gave you for your father's business? She sold the business? 
$500 doesn't go far these days. Who negotiated that deal, Daffy Duck? <laughs> and besides, Julian, you caught Calvin at a bad time. He was thinking. <laughs> That's why I'm rich and you're not. <laughs> Come on, my little love, Dumplin'. Darling, hmm? what is on our entertainment agenda for this evening? Oh, well, sweetness, I haven't thought of anything yet. I know, sugar lump. What? Why don't we put on our best clothing and raise everybody's rent? Let's haunt them. Hey, man, we want to transfer out of this place. We don't like what's happening with our daughter. What? No hello? No how are you? No nice haircut, Bernie? Look, cue ball head. Cut to the chase. We want to see the boss. I can't get Lou out here. Lou? Lou who? Lucifer! It's his busiest season. He's under a lot of stress, working his tail off. It's too bad. Tell him to get his bobtail butt out here. All right, but he's not gonna like it. Blue Bells, if I pick the red courtesy phone, please. Blue Bells, if I pick up the red courtesy phone, please. You'll be here before you can say double eggs. Good, because I got a lot to get off my chest. <laughs> Somebody a little dissatisfied with our service, huh? Oh, no. No! Julian can't be the devil! Are you all right? Hey, we're alive. Bill is not an astronaut and Rose is not married to Julian. Married to Julian? Get serious. She'd rather have a drunken porcupine crawl up her pantyhose. You're not pregnant, are you? Daddy! Lester, what's wrong with you? Are you all right? Oh, baby, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I still own my own business. I've got you, and you got me. Well, that sounds like heaven. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, hi, Phil. Nice to see you. Have a nice week. It'd be a better week if you sell me your business. Oh, I love you, Phil. You never say that. But give it up. I'm leaving the business to my daughter. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? I do now. <laughs> Why were you being so nice to Mr. Dawson? I thought you couldn't stand it. I can, but I'm going to be nice to him at least until he drives out of the parking lot. <laughs> In 30 seconds. I know. I can't find the station. Who knows what number uh, WBZE comes up? Oh, I think it's 10 7. No, 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 no. 1295. 1295. That's it. 1295 is what you paid for that belt this morning, woman. Oh, oh I got it. Oh. You're listening to WBZE. 1295 on the dial. See? <laughs> Coming up next, the winner of the WBZE Be a DJ for a Week contest, Lester Jenkins. <laughs> sound like Lester? <laughs> That's because it isn't Eva. Do you all you night owls, lovers, and insomniacs? Get ready for the sound of jazz. I'm your genial host, Lester Leskin Jazzy Jenkins, the lone wolf of late night. <laughs> He's off to a bad start, Mary. The dog is complaining already. <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> the Lone Wolf is his trademark. He started when he was the DJ in college. Oh! Now let's get down to some serious listening while I dedicate this first tune to the one I love. It's our favorite, Stardust. Who's he talking about? <laughs> He's talking about me, Eva. 
Thank you, honey. Oh, Mary, you're so lucky to win this contest for Lester. I know. Well, he's always had two dreams, one to be a movie star, the other to be a DJ. They ain't had no movie star contest. <laughs> so I settled for the DJ. <laughs> well, it's better off anyway. You know, Billy DeWilliams and Eddie Murphy got all the women sold up anyway. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> you know, I was telling Lester, in the next two weeks, he'll spend so much wax, he'll think he's an ear doctor. <laughs> If a dirty CPAP is making you sick, you're not alone. We invited CPAP users to come in and share their stories. I started to wake up with a cough in the morning, and I wasn't sure why that was. And this began after I started with the CPAP machine. I didn't even think about the fact that there would be germs growing in this dark, warm, wet environment. But as a nurse, looking back, I should have been concerned. It wasn't too much later that I saw an ad for the So Clean CPAP sanitizer. And immediately, I knew that was my solution. So Clean is the world's first automated, hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria that can build up in your improperly cleaned CPAP. Once I start using my So Clean machine, I can tell you that the sinus infections that I used to get from a CPAP are gone. It's like getting brand new equipment every day. Even just a drop of water left in your CPAP mask or hose can create a breeding ground for germs and bacteria. With its patented design, SoClean is the only CPAP cleaner that safely, effectively, and effortlessly cleans your mask, hose, and reservoir so you can breathe easy. The mask smelled sanitized, and the air smelled sanitized, so it's a, it's a noticeable difference. I don't worry about getting sick anymore. So Clean gives you great peace of mind that you have clean equipment. Feels great. So Clean saves you the daily hassle of washing your CPAP by hand. Just place your mask into the machine, close the lid, and walk away. The biggest issues I had with my CPAP machine were the inconvenience of cleaning the machine, taking it apart, making a mess. It was a chore. I know that the So Clean is going to take care of everything for me. I don't have to push a button or anything. I just put the mask in the chamber, close the lid, and it runs automatically. So Clean has, has been a lifesaver. So Clean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks. Try it risk free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1 800 304 4662 to take advantage of this limited time offer. If you get a CPAP machine, don't even take it home until you have your SoClean machine right with it because they are a, a marriage made in heaven. SoClean uses completely hands-free technology to kill 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria in your mask, hose, and reservoir. Stay healthy, sleep easy, and free yourself from the hassle of cleaning your dirty CPAP on your own. I rest easy knowing what I'm breathing all night long is clean, and I feel confident of that with so clean try so clean at no risk to you for 30 days and shipping is free call 1-800-304-4662 to take advantage of this limited time offer or go to trysoclean.com call 1-800-304-4662 now this important message is for anyone 50 to 85 years of age from Open Care Insurance Services. The average cost of a funeral has gone up and is now over $8,000. But there is good news. The Open Care Senior Plan will pay up to $30,000 for funeral and other final expenses. There is no medical exam and you can be approved with just one phone call. Your rates can never be increased. Your benefits can never be decreased decreased and your coverage can never be canceled call 800-704-1638 for your free information don't leave your loved ones with your debt call the number on your screen now and see how final expense coverage can help you there's no obligation and you will also receive information about a free prescription discount card Call 800-704-1638. That's 800-704-1638. Having a genie around the house makes everything easier. I Dream of Genie, weekdays at 1 Eastern on... Antenna TV. And that was Stardust by Art Tatum. Well, I see the phone lines are lighting up. Let's take a request. You're on with the lone wolf. What can I do for you? Hi. I'm Suzanne. How about making me shake with delight? Hey, I don't think I know that tune. That's not a tune. 
That's a request. The lone wolf loves being a DJ. You're talking to the lone wolf. What'll it be? I'm Vicky, and I'd rather tell you in private. Whoa! What's going on out there tonight? <laughs> We're taking a break for a commercial. We'll be right back with Jimmy Smith. He'll have his mojo working, and apparently mine is working right now. <laughs> Hey, babe, the lone wolf is off the air and back in his lair. How'd you like the old wolf call? Oh! Well, that's what that was. I thought you said on the microphone. Oh, I'm just kidding, honey. You were terrific. <clears throat> Did you hear all those calls from my female fans? Yeah. I also saw how you were eating it up. Well, I'm just doing my job, Mary. You know, winning that contest for me might have been a big mistake. I mean, you had to know that the lone wolf was going to get a lot of calls from all those lonely little Red Riding Hoods out there. <laughs> and that's only a hint of things to come. And if any of those little Red Riding Hoods ever decide to pick your number, they're going to really be disappointed because they won't get any service. You'll be running so fast, they'll think you're the road runner. Mm. <laughs> even handle it, you chicken. Uh, I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to. But if I did, I could. Watch out, all you DC dollies. The lone wolf is on the howl again. Ow! Don't move. Wait right there. I'll get the lawnmower so you can shave your back. <laughs> And that was Miles Davis and Thelonious Monk. And you're listening to WBZE, the big buzz in Washington, D.C. And this is the Lone Wolf, hoping the mood is right to help you make it through the night. Oh! <laughs> oh, there goes the mood and the night. Hey, hey, home DJ boy. What do you say? I'm trying to do a show. Go home. <laughs> Lester, I've listened to your show all weekend. You're in construction. How about a little constructive criticism? Okay, none of your clothes match. <laughs> Stop it, you're killing me. Lone wolf humor. What a howl. <laughs> Lester, we came to throw your show a life preserver because it's sinking fast. Guys, beat it. Beat it. Michael Jackson, there you go. That's a little closer to a fresh sound. I got a fresh sound for you. Sound that door hitting you in the butt. Now get out here before I get down with the sound and send your frown. Let's take another request. You all look the wrong wolf. What can I do for you? Hi, Wolfie. It's Christy. I'm taking a bubble bath and thinking of you. Ooh, I sure wish I was one of those bubbles. Play Stardust for me. Hey, baby, I got it all queued up and waiting for you. So what do you say? Has your soap started to melt yet? Oh, it's making the back of my neck all tingly. Oh. So, when do I get to match a face to that sexy howl? Anytime you say your tub or mine. Whoa, whoa, time out. Tub check. Oh, hold on, baby. <laughs> what is it? I don't believe what I'm hearing. I do not believe what I'm hearing. I am in shock city. I'm living in the corner of I don't believe in this. Are you crazy? Don't you forget about something? Like your marriage, your vows, Mary's left hook. <laughs> you guys don't understand. This is Mary. She's using a phony, sexy voice. She's trying to play a trick on me. She's been calling all week, requesting Stardust. That's our favorite song. Ah, so the spouse is trying to keep the old spice in the marriage. Very Dr. Ruth. <laughs> you howling dog. Yeah. Hey, baby, I don't have a show tomorrow night. How about you and me getting together at my place around 8 -ish? I'll be there. <laughs> and when I get there, I'm going to take you places you've never been before. <laughs> I'm gonna go towel off now. So am I. <laughs> well, Mary, it's almost 8 o'clock. You know, baby, ever since you've been at the radio station, you just can't stop announcing the time. <laughs> See, the lone wolf is turning in early tonight. As if you didn't know why. Oh, oh, baby, I wouldn't sit down in those silk pajamas if I were you. You may slip off the sofa and slide right into the kitchen. 
Well, the sofa wasn't where I was planning on doing my slipping and sliding. Oh, no, you don't. I haven't been out with the girls in a long time, and this is the first time I'm going out, and I'm going. You going out tonight? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Oh, no, I get it. That makes sense. You have to leave our place so you can come back over to my place. <laughs> I got it. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but I think you got a problem in that place. <laughs> well, anyway, bye-bye. Good night. Good night, baby. Sleep tight. And uh, don't let those soap worms bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Jenkins, you sure know how to play the love game. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> I'm coming, Mary. I mean, Christy. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Hi, Wolfie. Wolfie? <laughs> Who are you? Play Stardust for me. Oh, no. You better be the Avon later. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm Christy. My, what a nice place you have here. No, no, Chrissy just went to the movies. Oh, how sweet, a picture of your mother. That's my wife. I'm a married man. Who isn't these days? You know, you're even sexier than your voice. Uh, it's the light. I always look good with a three-way ball. Can I sit down? You know that dress better than I do. Well, you better make a mental note of it. It may be gone before you know it. Say, listen, when I made with that date with you on the phone, I thought you were my wife playing a trick on me. You know, when we talked on the phone, I felt a, a spark between us. Let's see if we can turn that spark into a fire. Howl for me, Wolfie, howl. Well, well, what do you know? That's the door. You and your dress have got to leave. Nice meeting you. Oh, I just love it when you touch me. Get your hands off me, <laughs> Hey, Lester, Mary. That don't look like Mary to me. Is this going to take long, Wolfie? <laughs> Wolfie? <laughs> Look, fellas, it's not what you think. It could be if you two would leave. <laughs> you can't. I got locked out of the, uh, we got locked out of the apartment. I thought he had the keys. He goes, no, 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 I think you have the keys. I go, no, 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 no. I th anyway, <laughs> we're locked out and you locked out. <laughs> no, 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 fellas, now I know what you're thinking. Of course you do, Lester. We're all guys here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. The secret's safe with us. You big bad Wolfie, you. <laughs> we'll leave you, Wolfie. We'll get out of your hair. <laughs> Look, now, I'm sorry you came all the way over here. I told you I'm a married man. I feel guilty enough already. Well, as long as you feel guilty, you might as well give you something to feel guilty about. I don't want to feel guilty. Hi, Daddy. Now I feel guilty. Hi. Who are you? Uh, Brenda, this is Christy. Christy, this is my daughter, Brenda, and my wife's daughter. This is Christy, and Christy was just leaving. Weren't you, Christy? Well, uh, perhaps this isn't a good time. I'll, uh, see you again soon, Wolfie. <laughs> Bye. Wolfie? Dad, what was she doing here, and why are you wearing your making up with mom pajamas? And I don't know who that woman is. She called me at the radio station. I thought it was your mother playing a trick on me, so I invited her over here for a date. Then your mother went to the movies, and Christy showed up, and you came in a nigga time, and I sure hope you believe me. Slow down, Daddy. I do believe you. Oh, good. By the way, Daddy, uh, can I have a raise in my allowance? We don't do the little wing dings. We do big, huge wings. You want to finish all time. I'm Sean Pergano in Plainfield, and if you like wings, hot wings, I've got just the place for you. Think ghost pepper hot. These things are killer. We're grabbing a bite to eat at a place that's been here for more than a half of a century. We're talking burgers, pizza, fish, and more. It's Foodie Friday tomorrow on the Fox 61 Morning News. It's only a matter of time until your check engine light comes on, or worse yet, your car needs repair. That could mean a big surprise auto repair bill. Those repairs are more expensive than ever. A new engine can be over $5,000. A new transmission over $4,000. That's why it's so important.